Hey everybody, I am Robert Solano and welcome to the Transitioning Warrior podcast, the first episode of this podcast. We are here to help transitioning service members. Uh, myself, I am actually in the Army. I am retiring after a 21-year career. I'm about 18 months away from transitioning right now. And uh, really the purpose of this podcast is to document my experiences kind of share some of my lessons learned and hopefully be a pathfinder for other service members that are tr planning to transition in the near future. Um, you know, I've, I've really felt like even though hundreds of thousands of people and many of my friends have transitioned, I still feel like this process is just like so ambiguous and I'm just frequently thinking like, what, what am I doing? What, what forms do I have to need to fill out? Like VA disability, what's that about? And so um, I thought, yeah, so over the next year or so, I'll just document my experiences and maybe that will help someone else um, along the way. And so, um, so you know, to begin, um, obviously, I think when you are planning to transition, the, the, the very first question you need to ask is like, do I want to retire, right? And I think that is probably... Uh, for a topic for a future discussion where, where uh, I'll kind of share why I chose to retire. Um, obviously, that's a, that's a huge decision. But, but I think after you decide that you want to retire, which I have decided, um, I think really the next question that lots of people ask is, okay, when do I tell my chain of command that I plan to retire? And there's lots of different schools of thought on this. There's there's some people that say, you know, don't tell anyone until you are actually submitting your retirement paperwork, right? And and usually the 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 thought process behind that is that um, most organizations I've seen, once you have communicated that you plan to retire, they kind of start to write you off. Um, your annual evaluations are going to be just center of mass. Um, you know, you may not get the the best assignments or the the most responsibility during that period after you announce your retirement. And so lots of advice that I've heard is to to save that round until the very last possible minute when you uh, submit your retirement request. Now, I, I've actually taken a different approach. Um, I knew, two years ago, uh, coming into my current assignment that I wanted to retire. And so as soon as I came into my assignment, when I had, uh, you know, my initial counseling and, and I'm a battalion commander right now, but when I had my initial counseling with my brigade commander, I told him, I was like, Hey, you know, you got me for three years. I'm going to kick ass. I'm going to take names, but, uh, I'm, I'm retiring after this. Right. And, uh, you know, and the, and the, at first they're like, okay, well, you know, let me, let me know when your eval is due next year. Let me know if you still still want to uh, pursue that. And I was like, okay, I'll let you know. But you know, I'm pretty much ninety five percent sure. And uh, you know, I personally, I communicated that early because <clears throat> because I was not over ninety five percent sure. I you know, I wasn't on the fence about retiring, whether I wanted to get promotion or or PCS, like. I was really, really pretty much set that, hey, I'm retiring and I'm okay closing down those options because essentially that's what you do in lots of organizations. When you announce your retirement, you close down options for future promotion and assignment. And and for me, you know, one of the biggest reasons I announced retirement so early on, you know, three years in advance um, is because I I wanted to convince myself <laughs> You know, I've been in this uniform, I'm not wearing my uniform now, but I, I've been in uniform for over 20 years and um, I, I, know, I knew how hard it was going to be to leave that life behind me. And so for me, it was really important that I communicate that decision to others because in lots of ways, I was actually convincing myself that this was real. Um, I just, I knew that if I wasn't announcing my retirement and communicating it, that I, that I would feel like, oh, like, you know, maybe, 
you know, maybe I will go on and try to get promoted to Colonel, or maybe I will take one more assignment and try to make that next high three. And, and, um, I just, I, I know myself well. And so I think that that's probably the important lesson is you really need to know, know yourself. And for me, um, I know I needed to com communicate that so that I could convince myself. And then also so that I would start making plans and preparations as well. So that I would start making career timelines and, and start networking and start my VA disability type stuff and medical appointments and, and all that stuff. And, um, and so, yeah, so that's why I, I communicated my retirement early. Um, and I think at the end of the day, it, it helps my chain of command and human resources know that, um, you know, I'm a known loss. Right. And, and, you know, you don't need to convince me or try to waste your energy trying to, you know, get me on to a next assignment because it's like, I'm done. And, and, uh, I felt like it helps them plan a little bit better, um, for my replacement and, you know, for future assignments as well. So what are you going to do? You know, are you going to tell people early or wait until the last minute? Um, you know, I, I can't tell you exactly the best course of option, course of action for that, but, uh, I think everyone has to decide. I chose early, other people wait till the last minute. And I think there's pros and cons to each. All right. With that said, I'm going to introduce my co-host, uh, Sergeant First Class Lexi O'Hara to ask some questions. Welcome, Lexi. Hey, Robert. Thanks for having me. It's always good to be here. I like how you laid it out there. Telling people three years out, that takes guts. Some folks would be worried about what their boss or peers would think. But you know what? If it gave you peace of mind and time to plan, then good for you. It makes sense. Let me ask you this, though. Once you made that early call, did you ever second guess it along the way? Or maybe catch any flack from higher ups? I'm thinking some folks might hesitate for just that reason, worried about doors slamming shut too soon. How did you handle that aspect? Yeah, I, you know, I would be lying if I said that I never uh, second guessed myself. Um, it, you know, I think there were times, uh, you know, where I, you know, the, the, you know, I work in acquisitions, um, and the acquisition community, there's lots of like really interesting things going on right now. Um, you know, there's like the replicator program and, and drones and all that stuff. And that's really interesting to me. And, and so, you know, there were moments where I thought like, oh, like, you know, well, what if I got an assignment working with, you know, drones or AI or the replicator program, like, you know, maybe, maybe something like that would, would keep me in. Um, and so, you know, I have second guessed myself a little bit, but, but then all, all I do is I just think, um, do I really want to PCS again? Do I really want to go to a senior service college? Do I really want to move my family when I have three young, young babies at the house? And, and that quickly changes my mind. And I'm like, no, <laughs> like I, I do not want to, I do not want to PCS again. I do not want to, uh, you know, uproot my whole family again. And, and so, uh, very quickly I'm like, no, like if, if, if I want to work on drones or AI in the future, like I can do that in the civilian world. Um, and I don't need to be in the military and, and I could hopefully make a lot more money on the outside too. And so, uh, Yes, I second guess, guess myself sometimes, but it very quickly goes away as soon as I think about the bigger picture. Gotcha. I hear you on that. It's like the itch of curiosity gets to you sometimes, but the thought of packing up and dragging the whole fam to another PCS just ends it quick. I mean, no amount of shiny tech can make up for the stress of moving, especially with little ones in tow. You nailed it, though. The good stuff, like drones or AI, ain't going anywhere. And there's plenty of room to play with that on the outside without uprooting everything. Plus, chasing a higher paycheck without the uniform? Heck yeah. A lot of folks don't realize that there are great opportunities out there for vets with your skills and experience. Your story shows that it's okay to second guess, but to keep the bigger picture in mind. On that note, if you had to give one tip to someone on the fence about when to announce their retirement, what would you say to them? I would say that if if you are unsure about whether or not you want to retire and i don't know what that percent is maybe it's you know maybe it's 80 percent you're going to retire 20 percent stay in um but if you know if you have probably more than five or ten percent inkling that you want to stay in 
uh, you know, I say keep a close hold, right? You're not going to lose anything by, uh, by not announcing that you're going to retire. And it's like, it's okay to wait until, you know, two years or even a year and a half before that, that decision, before you actually share and communicate it, if you want to keep those doors open. That's solid advice, Robert. If you've got that bit of doubt, holding off on sharing can keep those options open. It's a good reminder that the timeline doesn't have to be rushed just because you're feeling a little restless. People can plan, weigh it out, and only drop that word when they're absolutely ready. All right, let's lighten the mood before we wrap up. Here's the military joke of the day. Why did the soldier always carry a pencil to the field? Pauses for dramatic effect. Because he wanted to draw his own conclusions. Folks, if you enjoyed this episode and want more laughs, insights, and tough love, don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review. Your support is what helps us keep this show going strong, and we can't thank you enough. Until next time, stay sharp, transitioning warriors. I like that punchline. Stay sharp, transitioning warriors with the pencil joke. We, we need to work on your delivery, though, uh, Lexi. I think you're supposed to ask the questions and then actually pause and give me a chance to respond. Uh, but, but thanks, Lexi, and uh, we'll see you next time.